An off-duty police officer from Vermont recovering tonight after being shot multiple times in downtown Saratoga Springs in the early morning hours of Sunday. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5 o'clock. I'm Brian Collar. And I'm Alice Kang. Today we learn more about the deputy's law enforcement background in Vermont. NBC5 Sid Boulay is live in Rutland tonight. Sid, we just got new information into our newsroom. What can you tell us? That's right, Alice Bryan. The Rutland County Sheriff's Department has confirmed that Deputy Vito Castelnova was shot early Sunday morning in Saratoga Springs. Sheriff David Fox says he visited the deputy on Sunday at Albany Medical Center, saying that Castelnova was stable and is recovering well. Fox says the deputy has been working part time at the Rutland County Sheriff's Department since 2019, and he is now on unpaid leave for the rest of the investigation. According to Saratoga Springs officials, the Vermont deputy was off duty when he allegedly got into an argument in a bar early Sunday morning with some people from Utica. They say he was then physically attacked by at least three people and slammed onto the hood of a car, then knocked to the ground. That's when police say Castle Nova pulled out his weapon and then one of the people from Utica, a gun and a shootout began. Police responded to the scene, saying they saw Castle Nova pointing a gun, ordering him to drop it multiple times, but he did not. Police say the deputy made a motion towards the officers, and that's when they fired 10 or 11 shots, striking Castanova multiple times. Two other people were also injured, including one who was allegedly shot by the deputy. All of the injured people were then taken to the hospital. As of yesterday, um, and actually I did speak with a member of the family this morning that, you know, he's, he's still stable and his vitals and everything were fine, so they're expecting that, you know, he will come out of this okay. Sheriff Fox says the gun Castle Nova drew in the incident was not issued by the department, but was his personal gun. Sheriff Fox believes that he has a permit for it. Now, the investigation is still ongoing, and we will continue to bring you updates as we learn more. Live in Rutland, Sid Buley, NBC5 News. Sid, thank you. One person is dead tonight after an